All right, we'll hop in the queue and see what we can do. Um, open to any deck type, trying to avoid Gruel. It's just hard to get that deck to come together. Um, we have two, three choices here. Uh, Bazaar's Acolyte, Grasp of Darkness, Feet of Resistance. Um, Bazaar's Acolyte is the best card here, uh, but I think... Fear, I'd put my people, uh, my opponents in my left, in the pod, in the white by passing Feet of Resistance. Um, Grasp of Darkness is in a color that a lot of folks perceive to be as the weakest. Um, so there's a higher chance it's open if I take it, but also I'd be putting myself in black. So I think we'll just take the Basri's Acolyte here and see where we can... Uh, it. Yeah, uh, next best card is going to be Shock here. So white red is uh, where we're going to try to go with. If I took the uh, um, Grasp first pick, I'd take Fungal Rebirth here. I like Golgari in this format quite a bit, and uh, I have a lot of fun playing Golgari, which 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 helps your play, right? If you have fun playing the deck and you like playing the deck. All right, so uh, notables here are Rousing Reed and Spellgorger Weird. I guess we take Spellgorger Weird here. Um, this is obviously better in the blue-red spells deck, but it's still a fine beater in uh, in white-red. Uh, Falconer Adept, I think, is best in Skies, of course, um, with uh, Warded Battlement. So your flyers are 2-1s instead of 1-1s. One Take the spell gorger weird. We're still open. All right, now there's an opt and a daybreak charger, fear of the bitten, turret ogre. Uh, no good black here or green. This is obviously very good in that white red aggro deck. Uh, so I think we'll take it here. Okay. Very powerful blue card here, Tlarian Kraken. We'll take the Volcanic Geyser. It's expensive, um, but it's removal, and it, it's a good way to get some reach uh, with your aggro deck if you don't quite get there uh, to deal that last four or five points of damage at the end of the game. There's also a dog. In this type of deck, of course, we'd be looking to pick up Hallow Blade or uh, Siege Striker or any of the two drops. Nothing really here for its blue looks pretty open. I'm just going to take the blue rare. Uh, I don't think this card is amazing. Uh, it's kind of a four man. It doesn't do a whole lot. But if Teferi's Tutelage is in play, it will kill your opponent. Right? Um, if you have uh, any way to draw cards, you're doubling the effectiveness of uh, tutelage. So, uh, a secure the scene is fine. Uh, I don't think we need to pick it up here. We already have a shock and a volcanic geyser. We'll speculate on this. I don't think we'll play it, but we might cut white. We'll see. I mean, we we have passed some good blue, but we've been seeing some gl good blue from our our right. Uh, we saw an Opt, we saw a Tolarian Kraken, so it could be possible that the Spells deck is open, and this is a good sign for it. Uh, I'm going to take this over a Warded Battlements. I think this card is pretty busted. Um, so this is a little tougher. I think I'm going to go with the 2-drop here, over Sure Strike and Burn Bright. If we're playing uh, double vision, um, we'd want to be more of a controlling spells deck uh, that gets value off double vision rather than an aggro version. So more of a, a goblin wizardry style deck, which we haven't seen any of. So uh, we'll see what wheels here and see what's open. Okay, so we can pick up a throw. That's a fine card. So we're definitely red, I think, at this point. Um, we don't know if we're white or blue yet. Our white is better than our blue at this stage, right? Bazaar's Acolyte. Um, 
but I think the red cards like Double Vision and Volcanic Geyser tend to fit better in that blue controlling deck. Oh god. He's got literally seven packs. Let's go, Draft Punk. Um, Wish Coin Crab, I think we can pick up later. I'll I'll take the Saltwater Cliff or Swiftwater Cliff Cliffs here over Makeshift Battalion. Uh, sure Strike is fine. Uh, not great in the controlling version of this deck. Frost Breath is good in the aggro prowess deck uh, with Goblin Wizardry, but we haven't seen a single one yet. So I think we'll take the trick here. It also fits better if we end up going red-white. So we look like... Uh, we haven't seen much white other than a couple makeshift battalions. We haven't seen any of the two drops that we're looking for. Um, so it looks like white is shut down. But we're still open. We have some good components in that uh, white red aggro deck, right? Um, burn bright. Wow, uh, nothing really here for us. This is a tough open. Uh, best card in the pack would probably be Swift Response, but it's not good in that red-white aggro deck. Uh, <laughs> Thrill of Possibility at Lofty Denial without any flyers, I don't think, right now. Um, it's a good black card. It's decent green here, too. Uh, not what we wanted to see, but... Uh, it's what we got. So I'll take the Thrill of Possibility. Ooh, this is a good one. Uh, Heartfire Immolator. We're seeing Golgari cards, which makes me sad. Uh, we didn't get any coming from the right, though, so it makes sense it's going to be open this direction. Okay, we'll just uh, stay the course here. Um, Bowser's Solidarity, good in the, the Selesnya deck. Uh, Sky Scanners, fine filler. Uh, short sword is decent in an aggro deck. We'll we'll be content with the removal. How do we mo we were, right now we can just be mono red. Um, okay, so here's a good one. Uh, we have riddle form, which is good in that. Oh, and goblin wizardry. So we have to decide which one's better for us. Um, I think technically you're supposed to take riddle form. But in the combo deck, it's dependent on Goblin Wizardry. I don't know. In, in, in theory, Goblin Wizardry should come later than Riddle Form, but we didn't see any in pack one. So as far as what the deck needs, I think it needs Wizardry more. And it, this, it won't wheel out of this pack. Um, Riddle Form is a two drop, but I think we have to take Wizardry here. Okay, this changes everything. We have Kraken, Frantic Inventory, um, Crash Through, and Tutelage. So we, we're going to take the Tutelage here. Alright, so now we have some direction. Um, Burn Bright goes away. Now I'm really uh, missing that Riddle Form punished, right? So looking to pick up a protege, card draw spells, um, wish coin crabs, wall of ruins, more fairies tutelage, removal of course. Uh, all those are going to work well in this type of deck.
Is uh, Draft Punk holding everybody up again? Of course he is. I think now that we got this, it just improves the deck so much that... Um, I don't mind where we're at anymore. We only have 12 playables, and we're uh, getting through the good part of uh, pack two here. So we still need to get there on playables. It's still going to be tough to finish off this deck, but if we're lucky, uh, we'll be able to get there. It's going to be an Arcanist over nothing here. Uh, it's a good Gruel card. Gale Swooper, but it's a pretty easy one. All right, so this is tough. We don't want Hellkite Punisher. I don't think we're going to want Megalodon. I think Wish Coin Crab is going to be better in this deck than um, Megalodon would be. Um, so we're going to take that Wish Coin Crab. It's not exciting, but uh, it might be what the deck needs here. All right, I think I just take Cancel. And uh, another Wish Coin Crab, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Wheeling, which is crazy. So, those were very uninspiring for the past three picks. It's two drop, I guess. Uh, I don't want that. We also need to get their on card draw to make this worthwhile. Right now, all we have is Thrill of Possibility. We have two of them and one Tutelage that work with it. Um, so right now, we would cut this. And we'll probably want to cut that Hobble Fiend as well. Oh, this is a good wheel. This is a very good wheel for us. Oh my god! What is this? Okay, we, we'll we take the crack in here. Uh, Frantic Inventory is a card we desperately want, but we haven't... That was... We can't count on getting three of them. Oh, this is tough, too. Um, Volcanic Salvo is the best card here, and it's so <laughs> ridiculous with double vision. I think I'm going to take it anyway. Uh, but... The pick is probably opt now that we have tutelage. Yeah, I'll take the salvo. Just, just to try to live the dream. All right, uh, unsubstantiates fine here over third thrill. I do want the thrill. I do want a sky scanner, but I think unsubstantiate is good tempo. It can keep us alive for an extra turn to let uh, tutelage do its work. So I think we'll uh, we'll give that one a shot. Ooh, Gadrak is a good pickup. It's a great blocker. It's cheap. Uh, it adds mana when creatures die. Um, we do want a Wall of Ruins or two we play in this deck, but Gadrak is a good one. Ooh, nothing for us here. Look at the white cards, though. Wow. All right, so it's an uninspiring goblin arsonist. Not where we want to be. Um, do we take a protege or another wizardry? I think we'll take the protege here. Um, we aren't that aggro deck. Riddle form would be very nice in here, but we don't we don't have it. Um, there's a Tyranidon as well. It's a good pack. Valid Chorister. Oh, there's a riddle form and a shock. Though I think we have to take shock. We're low on removal. This is another great pack, though. Cultivate feet, riddle form, shock. Yeah, we have to take shock. Hopefully, this can help us survive against those aggro decks for a little bit longer. Shoot, now I'm regretting taking the second protege. Um, do I want a third protege or a third thrill? Probably just want the creature. Okay, I'll pick up the megalodon here. The white is wide open now, for whatever reason. Okay.
Ooh, Draft Punk. He's getting it together. He's found direction. MTGNFL. Okay. Dog Trout. Oh, here's our wheel. Pack Leader Wheel? That shouldn't happen. We don't want the other two cards, I don't think. Maybe Frost Breath. Um, but that's more of an aggro tempo card. Um, yeah. Oh my god. Why? Someone could have had the Nuts Doggo deck. Uh, we don't want more than one Megalodon. Okay, so I think we got there, sort of. Uh, it, it's not great, but um, it'll do for uh, what we're trying here. I think first cut would be Megalodon. How good is Insight? With three protégés, I think Insight's pretty good. We only have the one tutelage, which is all you can expect. It's a Mythic Uncommon. But it makes it a little bit more difficult to win. I guess our other win con would be Double Vision. Um, and using that with, what, Volcanic Salvo? Or something? <laughs> oh, Hobble Fiend. I don't think we need 11, 12 creatures. Um, maybe Gadrak is a win con. I don't know. It might be Goblin Wizardry. That might be the cut. I just don't know how well it works in this in this pile here. We're not beating down, so... I mean, it, it it's great with double vision, of course, but... So I have one, two, three, four, five... Ways to draw a second card per turn. Six, I guess, if you count tutelage, I can do it once. Uh, and these are permanent ways to do it, which makes... Th that's what makes this card great, is when you're activating it every turn. So I think I cut Wizardry, and uh, that's it. it. The cut could have been Talarian Kraken as well, but um, being able to use a Protégé to draw a card and tap an opponent's creature, or if we have the Endless Insight in play, we can tap two creatures, can help us keep, uh, can help keep us alive. So we'll see how this one works. We didn't get much of a sideboard to speak of either. I guess we got a ton of burn brights and stuff. We didn't get there on all the wizardries and stuff we wanted. But, okay, so this is a sketchy keep, but we have a one and a two drop. Um, we have our two most expensive spells in the deck, of course. Uh, and we only have two land and we're on the play, but with a one and a two drop, I think it's a clear keep. This deck isn't busted or anything. It's fine. It'll just come down to how I built it and uh, my draws. I mean, that's the, the variance in magic is going to be the key every time. But, uh, yeah. All right. Oh, hi. Hello. Simic. That'll be tough. That's a tough matchup. Okay, there's our land. That's good. Ooh, there's a wish coin crab. Uh, I would discard the crack in here. Or do I discard the land? I think I discard Kraken. Maybe I discard shock. Oh, he's playing Azusa. I wouldn't recommend main decking this card. 
or playing it in limited. Sanctum, okay. He looks to be more of a grindy deck, which we're fine with. Flooded, but that's okay. Um, we'll have a Talarian Kraken coming down here, joining the party. Okay. If he targets the Immolator, obviously we're going to shoot. Yep. And at the Phallid. So this Talarian Kraken, okay, okay, um, didn't think it was going to be long for this world, but we're going to decline because we want to cast uh, Salvo. Actually, no, we can auto-pay here. Uh, we're going to Salvo the Dreadmaw and the Archer, um, but we'll tap the Sapperling and we can swing for six. So I think he has to kill that Kraken. Oh yeah, we are getting nice and flooded. I shouldn't have played that land, I don't know why I did, that was stupid. Alright, so opponent has a good deck. Uh, other than the Azusa, and I'm not sure why he's splashing blue. Finishing blow on the Kraken. Snare spinner, okay. Oh, that's why. Sublime Epiphany. Oof. Yeah. Oh, shit. We might actually lose now. That's going to kill me real fast, and we're just going to get flooded. Yeah, enthralling hold as well, huh? Yeah, okay, so we're going to take seven, and, uh, yep. So we've drawn nine of our 17 land, in nine land in 17 cards, so more land than spells. Oh, yep, eight. Ten land. Yeah, I can't... If I'm just gonna... He has two Fabled Passages? Yeah, if I'm just gonna get flooded like this, there's really nothing I can do. I might be dead on board here. No. He can deal me... Eight. Ten. If he removes a creature, I'm dead on board. So I need a instant draw spell here, a thrill of possibility, or some sort of removal. Oh, he could have pumped with the Prismite. He could have killed me if he pumped with Prismite. Isn't that a kick in the dick? Yep, um, so I am dead. He draws his last card, swings for the win. So I got completely flooded, 10 lands in the first 18 cards. 
Huh. I don't have much of a sideboard against him. Yeah. Opponent drew what he needed. He had his bomb when he needed it. I didn't draw anything but land, and uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. I had a good... Um, it was a sketchy keep. I only had two lands in my opening hand. And out of the next... So we start with 33 in the deck. Um, we had 11 draws. Eight of them were land. Eight of them were land in our next 11 draws. My god. Okay. I'm going to keep this. We don't have any instants or sorceries, but... Yeah. Uh, I think we do that. We just have a two and a couple threes here. Opponent mold as well. Uh, this should hopefully get us out of flood. We have three of them in the deck, we just, they were all in the bottom half, I guess. I probably should have saved that Volcanic Salvo. Definitely should have saved it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we are that greedy. Play Protege next turn. Oh shit. Okay, okay, that helps. And now we can start drawing our land, hopefully. Get a land next turn. We can play Insight. Or else we can hold up Cancel. Um, because now he has seven mana available. Oh, sick. Okay. So next turn, if I draw a land, an island, a blue mana, I can have unsubstantiate for whatever threat he drops this turn and cancel. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Well, there goes our game plan. Yeah, I think that's it. That was our win con. Um, should have thought about that and boarded something in against it. If I would have had cancel up, we would have been fine. It would have been just fine. And that requires blue as well. So I I was too greedy. I was too greedy. Cancel up. Definitely cancel worthy. Uh, I should have tapped that different so I could leave up Heartfire Emulator, but. No, we don't want to do it like that. One, two, three. This way I have draw and absent obs No, 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 no. Okay, yeah. That's right. So we wanna 
do things, I think. Looks like we have to unsubstantiate this if he tries to finishing blow. Oh, your end step, okay. Um. So... We could shock the mirror and kill with immolator. That gives us three tokens. I don't think that's a bad idea. We'll just chill. Need one more token here. So if he plays a big fatty, we can volcanic salvo. Don't care about that. Guess we can slag it. How do they slag the prism at, I guess? We won't loot here, I don't think, just in case he's got some removal here. We want to protect that Gadrak. Nope. Turn. I wish it didn't tap like that. Let it through. So now our shields are down with the Kraken. We've used Unsubstantiate and... We've used our cancel. So if he has finishing blow, we're in a bad spot. So that gives me nine mana. Yeah, 
matter yet. Gonna represent cancel here. <laughs> so I'll use this one more time, and then I think we just uh, tap the whatever creature he's ha he has out on the field. Um. Oh shit, oh, I'd have to sacrifice a treasure token to do that. Okay, so I don't do it. I'll just use it and get the cards. If he has nothing, he's dead on board, but it definitely looks like he has something. Yeah, we will... Um... Oh, he bounced his thing? Oh, it's a legendary creature. Yeah. I got it. Okay. Uh... Auto pay and tap it. We'll just keep the shock around, I guess. Yep. Yeah, that's the best way to tap. We can play Wish Coin here. I don't think there's a problem with that. And then we have Shock. Scanner, okay. Death Moon Thalid is fine. Good game. Okay. So we did have some sideboard tech. Um, the enthralling hold is a problem. Sublime Epiphany is obviously a huge problem. Does that make me want Spined Megalodon? Oh, and it would come in over the Kraken. I mean, uh, this card still doesn't get past or do anything about Hellkite Punisher or Colossal Dreadmaw. So I think we just run it back. And uh, we have more information. Now that our opponent has cyborg tech to save that cancel. Let's see if he puts himself on the play. Yep. He has had to mulse three straight games. And now he's on the play when he's done it. So that's that. He is rough. Debating. I might want to wait till I get to six mana to play that. And now I'll have six. I have five in my hand. Uh, Arcanist taps for a colorless. So I can protect the Gadrak. Two fabled passages. This guy. He's got a sweet brew here. I don't know what he's...
trying to cook up, but Sublime Epiphany, and he certainly has card quality. Okay, Wish Queen Crab is a good one. We'll play that next turn. We also saw Finishing Blow from him. All the mana in the world for this guy. Double vision. Another sweet one. Oh, okay. Uh, he's coming in. So he's got maybe Burn Bright or a Sure Strike here. Uh, if he has Burn Bright, this is the best way to block, I guess. If he has, he might have multiple sure strikes. So, hmm. I didn't see, did I see Burn Bright from him? We'll just do this. And then if he has sure strike, he kills the crab, yes. Uh, well, if he has Burn Bright, we trade with both, and that's fine. What was that? Ah, uh, meteorite. Okay. Think I care about that yet? <laughs> okay. So I think I will risk the top deck so I can shock a couple creatures next turn. Get me a couple tokens. I can take out the scanner and the cur. Um, he's tapped, so I am. Free to swing? Would I block that cur on the crackback? It would go up to a 5 2. And I, I have another wish coin crab in my hand, so I think, uh, yeah, it's fine. Fuck. Well, that's a top deck for you. <laughs> All right. So now I swing with the crab in shock uh, if he pumps. Does that matter? Do I even care? No, he's out of cards, so I'm just going to attack with both. Shots. What a fucking top deck from this guy. Holy shit.
think we do want to counter that. It's a sub sublime epiphany. Good game. That's a reason for not playing land. We're still going to do it. And we're going to have to discard that. That was a close one. Uh, Teferi's Ageless Insight drawing me eight cards instead of four was, was pretty good. Uh, my opponent top decked a pretty sweet uh, return to nature, but it uh, luckily did not matter. All right. Keep going. That was, uh, whew. That was fun. Very slow controlling deck. definitely keep that um yikes very very slow hand oh shit we're up against that azorius deck we might be pretty fucked if this is a watcher of the spheres oh might have lost that game revitalize in blue white he must have griffin arise um, so we'll tutelage here, draw a card, discard a mountain. That's a good one. Build two lands. Uh -oh. oh, he didn't have a, a turn three play. Okay. Oh man, I milled four lands for him. I'm doing this guy a favor. So if I, I think it's best just to play this. Or do I try with the Ageless Insight here? Um, I can still double spell. Okay. Looks like he was screwed on lands and I milled four. So he's a flyer stack. <laughs> Probably my biggest weakness. Uh, fuck. Okay, so Wishcoin Crab probably not going to be too great here, but what almost? I, I don't have much of a sideboard. Um, 
yeah, yeah. We just uh, hope that we, uh, we we hope that he gets mana screwed again. I think that's our game plan. Yikes! Azorius is the worst matchup that we could have found. Turn three tutelage. Okay, let's go. Whew. Oh, and another uh, lack of a two drop here from our opponent. Clean life, drawn cards. Oh, okay. All right. Could have been a lot worse than that. We'll pitch a mountain. Salvo helps. And he, he, he quit. Okay, he doesn't want to play against the two. <laughs> He just he refuses. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the only way my deck really can win. Um, I'm sorry. Let's try it again. That was... I mean, uh, our opponent could have beaten that card very, very easily uh, with Azorius. I don't know what was in his deck. We didn't get a chance to see it. Uh, we saw a total of two cards. Uh, a Concordia Pegasus and Revitalize were played both games by our opponent. Um, and that was it. So this is a mall. And that's a keep. Pitching, uh, putting a mountain back. We'll go mountain. I think we'll hold on to the thrill here. Maybe not. Another Azoria stack? Oh god. No. No turn two play. That's good for us. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll hold on to the thrill. Um, if he plays something crazy, I mean, we can always shock. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a good shock. <laughs> and then we'll ditch the mountain. Definitely gonna ditch a mountain. Next turn, ooh, there's a, goes a watcher of the spheres. Our opponent. Oh, this is going to be... Again, this is a nightmare matchup for us. Oh, he didn't have a play. Oh, wow. Our opponent's deck looks very good. Very, very good. Gaggle Master. Do we need a land here? Okay, well, he's off it. Again, there's really not a whole lot we can do against that deck, and our opponent's deck looked very good. Um, we had turned to Slag, but we were greedy and pitched a land. We should have pitched the Volcanic Salvo. Looks like our opponent is siding in their rambunctious mutts. Mole. That sucks. Okay. That's small to five. Okay. Uh, I want all of these cards. So I'm going to be greedy here and pitch both lands. If we can draw out of this, I mean, or if we can get our lands, I think we'll be fine now. Ghostly Elfer. I'm going to play the Volcanian. Voldalian Arcanist. If he gets rid of it, um, I can always shock on my turn so he doesn't draw a card. Or if he ditches a card to try to get in, whatever. I can do that as well. I'll definitely block here, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to block. Or, uh, shock it. We don't want him to draw that card. This is just a two for one. That's a shitty situation. Um... For us. He might have Feet of Resistance here. He has Cancel. That's a big blowout. No attacks. He can draw his card then. He was going to cancel whatever we played anyway. 
I'm not as worried about a ghostly pilfer killing me. Um. It's a good draw. Hopefully we can get Ageless Insight online with the Protégé and uh, just start drawing a bunch. If I draw land, do I play Gadrak? No. No. I don't know if pitching a card every turn for two damage is worth it or not. Well, it probably is. It probably is. It's just slowing him down. Oh, he pitched it. A second cancel? Okay. Matra. Oof. Da. I think we have to take a big old hit from that. I could immolate it and swing for three. So I could. Immolate it. Ugh. I, th I think I'm going to play the insight here uh, and swing for two. Oh, he didn't pay. So he has something else. It's probably a gaggle master, I'd imagine. So now I immolate that fucker. Hopefully I draw land so I can loot as well. Shit. So I can... Geyser for three with the Arcanist. Or I can... Gadrock... Maybe I just, no, I don't want to take four from, well, I'm going to take four then. Uh, so yeah, we will, uh, we'll have to do this. Yeah, we're in trouble, big trouble. So I think we're... Are we just straight dead on board? Yeah, we have to kill two things. So I can. I can kill... Alright. But then the Watcher lives, and I have to draw something for it. So, one, two, three. One. Go for. Yup. I'm gonna have to try to loot here using treasure tokens. That might be it. That might be it. Why would it tap? Oh, yeah, because I'm an idiot. 
Um, so I get rid of the weird. And then I can... Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, I'm dead. Because then, yeah, I'm one mana short here. One mana short. Hmm. <sighs> yep, that's it. How do I deal with Hallow Blade? Wish Coin Crab? Yeah, that's it. And Kraken? Um. Yep. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, this is uh, not a good deck. I, I played the last deck I wanted to play against twice in a row. Um. We'll, uh, we'll go on the play since it's aggro. Fuck. I'm going to keep it. I have a thrill to help me discard some lands here. Double vision. Okay, okay. I like that. We'll see what we draw here. We still might thrill a possibility, especially if that's a Hallow Blade. It's not. We still don't want him drawing cards. So, play the mountain. Uh, could we even get... I mean, we have two drops in the deck, but I, I want him to have to discard to try to get in. I guess we're looking for shock. Didn't get there. So we have cancel for a hallow blade. Mm -hmm. Shit, more land, huh? Okay. He'll cancel whatever he plays, I guess. Be a watcher of the spheres. Ooh. this does actual nothing. Although, if I draw a Thrill of Possibility, I can play a land, play this, and then draw eight cards. That <laughs> seems pretty good. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I can bounce them both. Big game. Yeah, I'm just going to get flooded, it looks like. That's a shame. Uh... 
Yeah, this was this was a sweet one. Have to hold on to the land in case I draw a thrill. I think that's my only chance here, is if I draw a thrill of possibility. Too, way too far behind right now. There's five cards in his hand. Right, he's got it all. He's got it all. I can still use it to tap things, but... Maybe a turn to slag off the top? No. Nope. Yeah, you could have any number of things here to kill me with. I don't even think... So Thrill of Possibility is really the only card I can draw right now that would get me out of this. Then I'd need to lay Thrill of Possibility into two shocks. not going to do it. So I drew my two enchantments and no card draw. I had one thrill that I was able to utilize, but uh, Double Vision was a dead draw. Ageless Insight was a dead draw. I uh, just didn't get there. That's a shame. That was a fun one. Bummer. 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 I got to see my deck composition here just to see what my outs were. Yeah, I had the second thrill of possibility. Um, so there was a, a point in the draft where I picked this card over a third thrill of possibility, and if I would have taken two of these and three of those, I might have been able to come back and win. I had two shocks, draws me eight cards, so I'm probably going to find it. Um, and then I would, well, no, that still doesn't work. Well, it would. It would kill three of their creatures, because I can cast one on my turn and then one of my opponents and double it. Um, Volcanic Salvo wouldn't do it. Yeah, I think that was my only out at that point. Turn to Slag doesn't do it. Yep, yeah, well... That sucks. That sucks. It was a fun one.